It is the start of a new school year for more than one million New York City students. The largest public school system in the U.S. rolling out some new programs on the road and in the cafeterias. But it's getting grilled on some policy changes and safety measures. CBS 2's Andrea Klein-Thomas live in Bullshead, Staten Island with more this morning. Andrea. Good morning, Chris and Mary. We're outside of Richmond Pre-K. It is a brand new school in the district. The mayor and school chancellor will be here later this morning for a ribbon cutting. And while there'll be a celebration here, other students are beginning this new school year with plenty of uncertainty. As more than 1 million students head back to class today, critics question the safety in some of the district's older schools. Earlier this week, the Department of Education announced lead paint remediation was complete in classrooms with children six years old or younger. In a last minute announcement, school's chancellor, Richard Carranza, said common areas like cafeterias and libraries would be next, but no timeline was given for completion. The guidance says that, you know, children uh, where they spend most of their time, which is in their classrooms, but we're going above and beyond. We're, we're going into the common spaces. Council Educational Chair Mark Traeger says Carranza ignored repeated requests for lead testing in other areas, including bathrooms, gyms, and auditoriums. He is in no position to, 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 to diminish this threat. He has a very questionable record on lead in New York City. And uh, after what we just endured with NYCHA, uh, this is unacceptable. Another concern is about the future of the Gifted and Talented program. Last month, a plan proposed placing a moratorium on the program as part of a desegregation effort. The mayor's office said the program will remain intact this year. We need to be able to serve the needs of all students. So intellectually gifted students, we absolutely have a responsibility. We want to serve their needs. What's new this year? A partnership with ride-sharing service, VIA, that puts a GPS in every bus. At some point, it will allow parents to track their students' bus by using an app. And speaking of tracking, more speed cameras are being installed in school zones. 750 zones will have cameras by the end of the school year. There are also some changes to what's on the lunch menu for students. For the first time, the city is adopting meatless Mondays to be a little bit more health conscious. Reporting live on Staten Island, Andrea Klein-Thomas, CBS 2 News. Andrea, thank you.